What's going on everybody, Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we are rocking out with Cinderace on the rank ladder, but not just any Cinderace team. We are rocking out with a Cinderace team that was made by a Pokemon World Champion, Ryoto Osabu. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Also, guys, if you want this Pokey Pace, I will be leaving it down in the description below. Also, with a huge shout out to the team creator, Ryoto Osubu. Like I said, he was a Pokemon World Champion at one time, and he still competes and makes amazing teams. So huge shout out to him for making this team and making it so strong, especially with Cinderace on it. But we have Armourouge as our first Pokemon for today's team preview. Armourouge is going to be paired up with Indeedee today. As per usual, this is really, really strong combo. Armourouge got Flash Fire. It's got Life Orb as item, Rocket Armor Cannon, Expanding Force, Energy Ball, and Trick Room. Armourouge's best friend Indeedee is in the second slot with Psychic Surge and the Eject Button. It's got Psychic, Helping Hand, Follow Me, and Protect. Third Pokemon is going to be Roar Moon. Roar Moon is a great Pokemon outside of the Trick Room side of this team to really give your team a nice little versatility here. You can go into Tailwinds, you can hit hard with them, you can really do good on both sides of the field. He's got Protosynthesis alongside with the Booster Energy and then a great move set of Acrobatics, Breaking Swipe, Tailwind, and Protect. Fourth Pokemon is going to be Ursaluna, and ever since this Pokemon has been released in Regulation D, it has been one of the top tier Trick Room Pokemon. It has Guts alongside with the Flame Orb, making it do some crazy damage and then a, and then a great move set of Facade, Headlong Rush, Rock Slide, and Protect. In our fifth slot, another Pokemon that has been dominant since Series 1, just like Armourouge, is Annihilate. It's got Defiant with the leftovers as item, Drain Punch, Rage Fist, Bulk Up, and Protect. You guys have seen this plenty of times on the channel. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be the star of the show. It is going to be Cinderace. So Cinderace did receive a little bit of a nerf uh, from previous gens, but in this game, it's still pretty strong. And for this team, it's very situational. It's got the Choice Scarf and Liberio as its ability, Rocking Double Kick, Pyro Ball, Trailblaze, and U-Turn. Really do like it, but like I said, it's very situational. Might use it in the front, might use it in the back, might use it in the middle of a match. Again, depends on certain situations for this guy. But... If you guys want to rent this team for yourself, rent the code is at the top right hand corner. Well, let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Let's grab some wins by this Cinderous team. It's time for our first match in today's video, and we're going up against a Galarian Slowbro team with Glacier, Farigaraf, Heatran, Grimmsnarl, and Willboom. So this team could definitely thrive out in the Trick Room. They have a lot of good Pokemon that would be strong in the Trick Room. So how should I actually play this one? Do I have to pop Trick Room? I kind of don't want to. I could go Cinderace and War Moon right off the bat, which could be pretty good for me. And I actually kind of want to do that. Do I do it? Do I lock it in? Do I lock it in? They could go Frigoraph turn one. They could definitely go Frigoraph, which I'm really thinking they're going to do. And if they do that, we don't have a dark move on this thing, which kind of hurts. I would have loved to have a dark move to just absolutely rip into it. But I still really do like this Pokemon. Or I could go Indeedee just to block fake outs. They have two fake out users with Grimstrow and Real Moon. So Indeedee would not be bad. Hmm. I say we go Indeedee and Roaring Moon. So I can set up Tailwind if they don't have a Trick Room user out in the field. And then if they do, I can just start getting off big time damage. But I would want to set that to range just so Fake Outs can't come out here. And all that good stuff. Plus, Rillaboom should be faster than Indeedee. So if he leads Rillaboom, then my terrain should still come out and about. Makes sense? Hopefully it does. Hopefully everything works out fine here. We grab ourselves a win. But when I'm recording this, I'm recording it right now. It is Friday and I'm feeling good. So hopefully you guys are enjoying your Friday if you are watching this on Friday. If you're watching it over the weekend, hopefully you're enjoying the weekend. Seriously, I'm super excited for, for this weekend. Going golfing tomorrow with the boys. I'll let you guys know how I do tomorrow. And it's just been a long work. It really has been for me. So happy the weekend's here. The ends up going real boom. Grass terrain should come out here first. Yes, sir. And I'm taking over terrain right after that. Right after I'm taking out Tarun. Cool. So they got Frigoraph on the field. Um, it can't fake me out, which is big time. And, um, do I Terrasalize and just Acrobatics? That's speed heightened. Um, hmm. What's the play here, Jeans? What's the play? We don't really want Terrasalize. I kind of just want to follow me. I'm not even gonna lie. We're just gonna follow me, and I'm just gonna. I think I'll just stay this. I don't think I'm gonna thrasslize. I don't think I'm gonna thrasslize. I think I'm just gonna attack, right? Should be fine. I don't think that Frigoraph's rocking any fairy moves. So I'm gonna follow me. I think Frigoraph is probably going for like a trick room or something. 
And Acrobat's gonna fly here. So we could actually Terrasse Slash and just KO'd it, but that's fine. We'll save our Terra. He ends up U turning out. We're gonna eject button out here as well. And uh, who do I go into? Who do I go into? Probably not Cinderace, because I think Trick Room is gonna get popped, and I think they do bring out Glacier. So I think this is gonna be the right call just by going Mew. Do I have protect on you, Roar Moon? I do. I do. I indeed have protect, which is big time. I'm gonna go into my nice, lovely Annihilate. And he did not. Oh, wow. That. He can't U turn out. That's big time that he can't U turn out. Because I eject button first. So I could Water Terror here. I think I should Water Terror. And I'm just gonna go into a lovely little Drain Punch into the Free Slide. Actually, I can bulk up here. That would be a great turn to bulk up. Then I think I'll just breaking swipe across the board. Just in case he goes to a physical attacker here. Plus, we can take out Robum at the same time. So he's gonna terrestrialize. I'm gonna terrestrialize. And he going into Frigograph Fairy, potentially. Steel Frigograph. A lovely little steel Frigograph. And that's actually fine. I can drain punch into that hard. I can drain punch into that, which would be lovely. I'm gonna bulk up. I want that attack boost. I want, I want it all. I want it all. I wonder if Robum's doing anything here. I wonder what Robum's doing. Please don't be going for like a wood hammer into my Annihilate slot. That would really hurt. But Psychic's gonna fly here. I did Terrasse Slice. Wow, that did a bit. That did a lot of damage there. That did a lot of damage. Now I'm bulked up and kind of hurting here. Let's see what they go into. Is it gonna be Glacier? I kind of hope it is Glacier. It is. So we're going to get that attack drop on him. That's going to be pretty big. And from here, I might just protect my Annihilate. Because now I bulked up. And I kind of, you know, will follow me action. A Breaking Swipe's going to come out here. We'll get the attack drop, which is huge. And I'm really scared. Maybe I shouldn't have bulked up. I should have just went into that Drain Punch into the free graph. Could have been big time for us. So we got Terrain. We have the minus one on Glacier, I believe. No, we don't. Why didn't we get minus one on that? Is it clear amulet? It's got to be clear amulet. That's tough. That's so tough. I read the swap out and that happens. So I'm going to protect you. Get some leftovers HP. Two turns left in trick room. We still have Cinderace in the back end. And indeed. Which is pretty good for us. And actually, we double protect. Just a waste of some turns. No, because I, I would rather this thing actually die out here. So I'm going to go into Acrobatics into Glacier Slot. Just do as much damage as I possibly can. So I protect. He's probably taking out my Roar Moon here. Stopping Tantrum's going to go into... You might be doubling down into into that slot. You might be psychicking into that slot. Now you go for a Hyper Voice. A Hyper Voice. Can you eat this up, Moon? Probably not, right? Very I pretty hard. Oh, you do eat that up. I can get down. I can definitely get down. But now his throat spray's popped. Now we don't like that. Acrobat's gonna fly here. Do a little bit of damage, which is nice. And go from there. You shall go from there. Okay, okay, okay. So now I'm gonna Drain Punch. I need HP. I'd rather Drain Punch in that for a graph. And I'm just gonna stick Acrobatics into the Glacier slot. So Sabic Tantrum's gonna fly here. He's gonna Hyper Voice across the board. I don't think we eat up this hyper voice. Can you do it? Cannot. I need it, you there. Just one time. Just one time. Just one time. Because if he ate that up, Frigoraph dies out. So now we're sitting in a really tough position here. I'm trying to figure out ways around this. But it's just not looking good. Because we're going to go in DD. We're going to go Cinderace here. And we don't have Protect on Cinderace, which is a problem. It's a big time problem. So I would have loved to just protect out this last turn trick room and kind of go from there. But it does not look like it's happening. So obviously I could go follow me. And I think I have to go follow me. And I got, I'm got i going to switch to a pyro ball here. I'll go into a free graph here. If it ends up withdrawing for a graph, who are you going to go into? Millaboom? This could be really good for us. It goes into Robin. We're going to finish off Robin. Hold up. I don't know what the swap was for. You really wanted that terrain, I guess? 
We're gonna follow me the stomping tantrum. Can we eat up the stomping tantrum if it's coming in here? Can you eat this up, Indeedy? That'd be big if you eat this up. You do. That's big, because Cinderace has chances to just start clutching here. Because now Trick Room's gone. Now I'm fastest on the field. I have a follow me. I can probably KO Glacier in one shot. I can probably KO Frigograph in one shot. Hold up, wait a minute. Can Cinderace clutch? The Trick Room is just really overpowering. Frigograph comes back out here. Um, <laughs> might try to set up Trick Room again and protect Glacier. Honestly, I think that's going to happen. So I'm going to actually help him hand this shot. And I'm going to go Pyro Ball. I think Glacier is going to protect and go in. And he's going to try to pop another Trick Room with Frigograph. He does not protect, which kind of hurts me. I should have followed me, but I'm going to get rid of Frigograph here. Getting rid of Frigograph. I'm not allowing Trick Room to get set up here. I'm really hoping that, that thing actually protected, but Stopping Cancer is going to come out here. Correct? And can you eat this? You can eat it. You can eat this. Hold up. Man, I should have followed me that shot. I don't know. Should I follow me that round? I think we're fine. I think we're fine with this. Slowbro comes out here, and this is where it gets kind of, kind of tough, right? I'm. Hmm. I'm gonna actually psychic into this slot. Actually, no. We're gonna follow me. We're gonna follow me the shot, and I gotta go Pyro Ball. Take out Glacier. And there's the protect. I knew it was coming soon. I knew it was coming soon. That's tough. Cinderace. Get some work done here, but there it is. That's the match. I don't think we were taking out Slowbro anyway. Slowbro was just too bulky for us to handle. And there's the Protect. I was waiting for it. I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. It goes for a sh Shell Sidearm, which is such a cool move. He's going to take out my Indeed. That hurts. I'm kind of curious to see if we're going to take out Glacier in one hit. But there's no way we were uh, KO in uh, Slowbro. I'm really curious to see if we can do it. So I'm going to go into another Pyro Ball. Cinderace is going to die out here. And we'll see if we, we would have been able to KO it. Yeah, yo, Cinderace is, was ripping in this match. Definitely, definitely was ripping, but uh, Trick Room overpowered us, man. Trick Room did us bad. Trick Room did us so bad. It lasted one turn too long. We could have wasted one more turn. We probably would have won this match. But hey, I don't want to get things started. Let's hop into our second match. Get our first win with Cinderace. Tough loss in match number one, but second match is here, and we're going up against Cinderace. Really, really cool that we're getting a little Cinderace mirror matchup. Hopefully, our opponent brings it, because I'm bringing mine. I'm definitely bringing mine, but he trans a Pokemon that we got to watch out for. They also got Fluttermane, Urshifu, and Tornadus. Always a problem. Um, I could go Roar Moon turn one, and I kind of want to go Roar Moon turn one, right? But if they're going with Tailwind, I would love to set up Tailwind. I would love to. So, I'm going to go Roaring Moon to get things started here. I'm also going to... Go. Do I go Cinder? Do I go Cinder? I don't think I should lead Cinder. I don't think I should lead Cinder. I think I should lead a Pokemon like Annihilate. Because Annihilate could be good. It could definitely be good. And then going in with Ndidi for a little bit of support. And actually, we might want to just try to pop Trick Room. Trick Room might be our best bet. I don't want to go Seam Squad. Not same squad. But, uh, I think we go in like this. I think this is how we do it. Or do we go Ursaluna instead of... I think we go Ursaluna instead of... Instead of the... the what's it called? The Annihilate. Yeah, I like this. So we're gonna lead in DD Armors. I got the Eject button so I can follow me Eject out and kind of go from there. Another tough battle coming at you guys. It's always tough. It's always tough. I feel like this series is actually one of the hardest ones to play up against because there's so many like straight meta, really strong teams. Whereas like other series, it was just like staple one team. Whereas this one, I feel like there's a bit more versati versatility with it, with the Trick Room Pokemon, with the Fluttermane still being good, with Urshifu, Shen Pao being in there, Chi Yu seeing a little bit of light. But uh, yeah, this series has been tough. But they go Cinderace, they end up going Flutter Flutter. And ch -ch 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 -ch. this could be tough for me. I do have flash fire, which is good. Let's have light bureau. Always tough. Um, I gotta go follow me. 
Now follow me and I gotta go for Trick Room. I'll stay fire typing, right? Should I stay fire? Yeah, I'll stay, I'll stay this typing. I like it. I'm gonna go for follow me. I'm gonna end up going for Trick Room. We'll see what he wants to go for. Hopefully he goes for Shadow Ball. That'd be cool. Gonna, oh, no. The oh, so dread it. Absolutely dread it. Imprison Trick Room move. Every once in a while you go up against this and it's ugly. But I feel as from here now we just go into Cinderace. So now I'm gonna bring out my Cinder. I am choice scarfed. Um I cannot trick him anymore. I'm thinking of just pyroballing and taking out his Cinderace. Maybe just armor canning across the board here, right? That could be good. I'm with that. Hopefully, it just stays in with Cinderace and mine can outspeed and just dump on it because it is bug typing now. Every now and then, you go up against Imprison Trick Room. It's so annoying when it happens because, like, it really ruins everything. Like, our opponent's in such a good position right now. We'll see what he wants to do. I hope he doesn't just hard swap. I hope he just tries to go for another U turn. Right? I would. That's what I would do. Knowing that I'm choice, knowing that I'm chance to run faster. So no, he just hard swaps in race. Okay. I feel you. I understand. He's going to go into Earthshot. That's, so that's a really good swap. A really lovely swap. Powerball's going to fly. I wish I would have went after what's it called, Fluttermane, but it's cool. And he's going to imprison again? That's fine. I'm cool with that. So I know I outspeed. My defense is going to drop here. Um, and honestly, I feel it's my best bet's doing this. Even though my defense has dropped, to Terrasalize Grass and Energy Ball. The reason I say that is I know my defense has dropped, but if he goes into the water move, I would love to just get rid of Earth from here. So he ends up withdrawing for I mean, that's fine. He's gonna go into it. back into Cinderace. Heatran's gonna come out here, so that's a solid swap. Solid swap into Heatran. Um, I might want to swap my Cinderace here now. And he withdraws Urshifu as well. Wow, the double swap. Double swap, and I terrored here. I do have Flash Fire, which is really good, so hopefully that can force a shot into here. But he also has Flash Fire. Okay, this is this is a solid match. This is this is getting good. This is getting good. We still have Ursaluna. I mean problem here is Urshifu's a problem up against a lot of my Pokemon. So I might want to swap and save armors for later purposes. This Pyro Ball's going to fly here. I'm going to flash fire up. Um, I'm going to throw an energy ball into this slot. Do like five and a half damage. We'll go from there. Actually did a good chunk. So from here, I'm thinking I'm just going to swap you into maybe Indeedy, just let Indeedy die out. Or do I go into like Ursaluna? I'm gonna go into Ursaluna here. I'll save Indeedy because that follow me could definitely come in clutch. And then I'll just expand in force because I know expanded force will KO this in race. They can do a little bit of damage on the heat train. So we'll see. I'm hoping they go for a fire move onto uh onto what's it called? Not the armors, but chances are he goes for a U-turn and pivots out. And he just straight up withdraw the heat train. Who are you going into here? Because I'm expanding force here. I'm gonna go into Flutter Main. So this could be a big time expanding force if armors can eat up whatever whatever moves coming in here. Pyro Ball, he did not know on Flash Fire. That's what's so good. It's so good. So now we get this cooking here. We're gonna get rid of both of them. That's big time. That's big time. That's big time. It's big time. Wow, this match really took a turn. So now we're here. Um, I don't think Heatran can KO me. I don't think Heatran can KO Armors. I know for a fact, we, we, we all know Urshifu can KO me, right? We, we all know that for a fact that Urshifu can KO me. We all know that. We know Urshifu can KO Ur uh, Ursula all day. But the thing is, I might just want to double down in Urshifu here. 
I might just want to facade that slot. And can I pop a trick room now? Because Fluttermane's not on field? I think I can. I can. I can. I think going for trick room is going to be your best friend. Actually, do we need it? We might not want to do it. I think I just expanded force. That's exactly what I'm going to do. He's going to start and strikes me. That's fine. Like I said, he could take me out. And the thing is, I don't think Heatran can KO my armors. And the reason that's so good is if I can land this expanded force and take out Urshfu, we pretty much win this match, right? I wouldn't say we definitely win this match, but there's a high chance we win this match. So I'm actually kind of happy we didn't go for Trick Room. And actually, we outspeed the Heatran. So good thing I did not go for Trick Room. Because now Urshfu dies out here. I can bring out Cinderace and I can now double kick into that slot. Cool. I could double kick. Did they Terra? I'm trying to remember. They had Fluttermane. Fluttermane did not Terra. He's going for a Heat Wave again. What is up? What is up with that? Going for a Heat Wave. Should be good. That should be good. And from here, I'll go into Cinderace. Trick Room is now gone. I'm going to choice into a double kick, but this match is pretty much over, right? This match is pretty much over. We'll go double kick here. Just in case he doesn't Terrasalize. And we'll just stick with Expanding Force in case he does Terrasalize. But they cancel battle. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Our first win for today's video, one and one. Let's go grab ourselves a winning record in match number three. Final match on its way. We're sitting one and one going up against a Shen Pao Inspector team. This one's... Definitely going to be tough. Very strong Pokemon with Tornadus, Rillaboom, Urshfu, Heatran. Then the two that I just mentioned. Um, trying to think of ways I can lead and kind of get after this matchup. Because Trick Room is obviously going to be great. And I think I might just go Ndidi Armors. But actually, yeah, Ndidi Armors might be really good here. I was going to say, they can change up terrain with uh, Rillaboom. But I think they might lead Rillaboom. So if we lead Ndidi, Ndidi should be slower than Rillaboom. And really get after it that way, so I think going into these two is gonna be your call. I can get down, I can definitely get down. I like it. Plus, if we get that psychic terrain, it could stop any taunts from coming through here. And we can go Ursaluna, and then in the back end, do we go Cinderace? I kind of like Cinderace, or you know what? No, we're gonna go, we're gonna go in with an eye leap. I like an eye leap here, especially if we do get off Trick Room. Can be very, very powerful. But two Pokemon that we're gonna have to watch out for is Shen Pao and Urshfu. Even through Trick Room, first turn priority is a problem. So I'm gonna have to try to keep Ndidi like alive to kind of keep the terrain out there. And that's what the eject button's gonna be so good for. So I could take a hit, I could swap out, and then I eventually I can come back in if I need that terrain set again. Because like I said, they got Rillaboom. Rillaboom can change up the terrain. Do me dirty, and I'm not about it. I'm not I'm not about it. But yeah, we're one and one. We're one and one right now. We'd love to grab ourselves a win here, but it's not the end of the world if we do lose this one. Show me who you're leading, kind sir. Oh, look at Palkia. Origin form Palkia. Thing looks so weird. It's weird but cool at the same time. Like when I saw him in like Legends Arceus, like I actually seen like a leak of him. I was like, there's no way they're putting that in the game. Little did I know they're putting that in the game. So how come these two? Um I could see a snarl coming out from uh I could definitely see a snarl come out from uh Spectre. But I'm just gonna go for follow me. And just pop the trick room. Trick room's our best friend. Trick room is our best friend. It is our bestest of friends. Considering I, I need to get off trick room. If I don't get off trick room, I lose this game. We're hoping Spectre is not in prison. I think it can learn in prison trick room. Or is that Calyrex? Dark Pulse is gonna fly. I'm cool with that. That's gonna KO me. Actually, no, it's not. Your ghost, not dark. But if I if I don't get off Trick Room here, we lose this match all day long. Because my team is fully thriving on Trick Room. And I wish you had EQ, my guy. Why don't you have EQ? Kind of hurts that you don't have EQ. Now I'm going to go into Ursaluna here. And Earth Power is going to fly in the slot. You should be able to soak that. Thank you, Rush. Thank you for soaking that on 6 HP. <laughs> Because again, if we did not eat up that shot, we'd lose this game. So now, go into you, and from here... What do I do from here? It's a genius play from here. I really just want to headlong rush this thing. You know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to go headlong rush, and I'm just going to expand it for across the board. I like it. I like it. So you're going to end up withdrawing Spectre. 
Now, what are you doing with Heatran? Are you swapping Heatran? You gotta be Thrasalizing, I feel like. But Rillaboom's gonna change up the terrain here. I might hard swap Armors to give me my terrain back, because I don't want to be faked out next turn. Or I can double protect. It's up to me. But he's gonna end up Thrasalizing. He's gonna go into straight grass. Straight grass. And it actually sucks because I are going into ice. That kind of sucks for you, because I'm hitting you with a ground move. That's pretty good for us. Unless you got Terror Blast. Ooh. Headlong Rush can come in here. And that's still going to KO Heatran. Cool. Dope. Awesome. Guts Ursaluna getting work done. But yeah, I definitely need a Serain back. I might swap Ursaluna. I just might swap Ursaluna. Depending on how much damage this Expanded Force does, I might swap Ursaluna. We'll see. Expanded Force comes out here. But that's what I loved about the Jack button, was the terrain. And yeah, it's looking like, oh no, I'm life orb. I'm orbed. I, I was going to say I could swap Ursaluna and get one more turn out of Arm Rouge and just start ripping into Pokemon. But that's fine. Got my Guts Ursaluna doing some work. My defense is dropped just a tad bit. And do I just go in Eye Leap? I could just go in Eye Leap. Yeah, I might as well go in Eye Leap. We got Trick Room up. Let's get the attacks going. Let's get pumping, dude. They want to go into a first turn priority Pokemon. Like this little booger right here. This is where we could swap. This is where... Actually, we can just protect you this turn. And Drain Punch. Get back a ton of HP. And then swap into a DD. I'm just going to protect you this turn. There's still Ursula to protect. He knows he's Sash. I think he's gonna ice spinner that slot down. Go for a fake out and turn. Oh, I was gonna say turn two, but now nah, that's his turn one. So good protect there. I think he's gonna ice spinner that slot too. Train punch fly. I'm gonna sash up. That's a correct statement. I think he's faking out and ice spinners. That could be a top tier protect right there. Sacred sorting that slot. Yo, top tier protect. Come on, man. That's too easy. That's too easy. That is way too easy. That's way too easy. He can still sucker punch me, but I feel as now we just stay in. I can facade the roll boom, get rid of that. Yeah, I would like where we're sitting. We're gonna go facade now. I'm gonna hit up on you. And I'm gonna rage fish just in case he wants to swap an inspector on that slot. Yo, yo, how big is this? How yo, someone tell me. Someone tell me how big is this? How big is my brain? It's massive. It's huge. It's huge. They don't play games. You think I'm going into Drain Punch? You think I'm you think I'm some type of Gerber? Little baby boy? That ain't me. That ain't me. Come on, man. That's too easy. I'm not not no walk in the park. I'm not no walk in the park, alright? Not gonna catch me lacking like that. No siree. Not happening. Come on. Come on guys. If you guys made it this far in the video. Make sure you guys like it up. And if you made it this far and you're not subscribed, just, just get on out of here. We don't need you here. I'm messing around, but love to have you in the Genius community. Click that subscribe button. If you guys want to support a little bit extra, consider becoming a member. But, uh, how many turns do we have left in Trick Room? We have one. Double Protect could come out here. I am going to throw a nice lovely Rock Slide across the board. And if, if, this is a big if, if he wants to Double Protect, we can just go into a Bolt, which is exactly what we're doing. So Spectre might not even have Protect. It does not. Can we get rid of it? Can we land this? Thank you, Ursula. Ursula killing it. And now I got bulk up. Like, you're not doing anything. Come on. Come on. That was a big time Rage Fist there. That was a big time Rage Fist. Because honestly, if... Let's, let's, let's think about this. If I did not Rage Fist there, if I Drain Punch, we would have got no damage off on that thing. Spectre could have potentially eaten up that Rock Slide. Because it's not stab damage. And honestly, it would kind of be tough. Because then Shen Pao can KO my Ursaluna in one shot. Spectre can do some big time damage on the Annihilate. But uh, big plays from us. Now we're just going to Facade. And we're just going to go into a Drain Punch. And that is wraps. Pwn's going to cancel. And he's, gonna, he's just going to KO my Ursaluna. That's messed up, man. Not my bear. Not my bear. Not my moon bear. That ain't right. That ain't right. Now this leopard has to pay. Drain Punch comes out here. KO. 2-1 for today's video. Awesome winning record with this Cinderace team.
There it is, ladies and gentlemen, two and one, another winning record. Add it to the channel. Absolutely love this team. Rocked out with Cinderace today in match number one and match number two. And this thing was doing crazy damage. Then in match number three, we just let the Trick Room Squad take it over. Arm Rouge and Didi, Ursaluna and Annihilate can never go wrong with those four. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to leave a like on it. If you're not subscribed to the channel, get on top of that. Click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure, sure you spread spots every day. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.